Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. In this episode, I'm going to be putting some lovely, fresh, new blades on this, the Lumberjack PT305 Fitness Planer. I made a little bit of a snafu the other day, and I put a little dent in the blade, as you'll see here, so it doesn't quite plain true anymore, and uh, it's leaving some little streaks. So we're going to take this apart, get the blades changed, and try them out, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, and probably most important thing we're going to do, take this bad boy out. Now, you're probably smarter than me, and you already know to do that, but safety first, let's mention it anyway, shall we? If you didn't see my first video where I put this together, please go and watch it, because I'll put the link just there. I didn't realize that this toolbox bit was here when I started building it, because inside there, is all the tools you'll need, like this one, for example, which is what you use to actually remove the blades. Funny that they include all the things you need. Still don't think I'm gonna live that down. I always recommend you read instructions when doing things like this, but because you're here, you obviously haven't done that or you didn't understand them. So we're gonna start here by lifting this one up so we can happily see this bit here. So what you're gonna do, <coughs> is you're going to turn this one very carefully until you can see the blade. You're going to use this lovely spanner that came with it to loosen all of these little bolts. And then you're going to remove this again very carefully. So you've got your blade and your blade clamp. And you're gonna take this over to the workbench to give it a clean. You've got your two clamping bars, which I'm gonna make sure are as clean as I can do. And you've got my two old blades. Annoyingly, these blades are 99% in good condition. It's the fact that I've just nicked them in a couple of places. As you can see here and there, it's just leaving two little nicks, but I have these lovely new blades to put in. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is put the clamp bar in, and then I'm going to set the blade. And then it's just a simple case of tightening these up, and then I can adjust it later on. Again, I'm going to be very careful with this. I'm not going to do it tight, just a little bit of a snug fit. Right, and then I'm going to flip and do it on the other side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the planer blades. Now this is used by this weird contraption that comes in the box that doesn't really have any instructions on it. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So first thing we're going to do is level up the infeed and the outfeed. I'm going to use my straight edge for that one, just running it along and making sure that it doesn't hit the outfit. If it does, this is when you're going to um, adjust that one to make sure that it's all running in line. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this jig and you're going to put the bar on the outfeed side of the table and line it up. You can see you've got a little and a big gap. Put the big gap over the blade and this is just the initial set. So you're going to rotate that one and hope that it doesn't catch. It should go close to it, but not actually catch it. So, as you can see, close to it, but not actually touching it. Okay, so first thing you want to do is draw three lines. Now, these three lines are crucial. We've got central line, one in front, one behind. These are five millimeters apart. This is your central line, five millimeters that way, five millimeters this way. This is going to make it easy for us to tell how far the blades are making our wood travel. So you're going to get yourself a nice bit of wood that you know is flat and square. So I'm using this lovely bit of plywood. I have put a central line on it and marked it C to go on the central spot. From here, when I rotate my blade, you will see this travel along 
and it lands directly on the next five millimeter line which is good I can then move it down to the other side rotate it again and again you'll see to the five millimeter line over to this side do exactly the same thing you're going to do that a few times all the way along on both sides making sure that it only travels within those lines the e most even you can get it across the better but that is the easiest way to fine tune and set your blades on a planer obviously some planers are slightly different this is specifically the lumberjack pt305 there are lots of other videos online if you want to search out for your specific machine and if there's not why don't you message the people that made it i'm sure they will help you just like lumberjack did with mine if you've got any questions make sure you leave them in the comments or send me a dm on instagram or anything like that i'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions about changing the blade nice and simple not a big deal easy peasy i'll see you on my next video bye